So what happens next? You now have the qualification to be employed anywhere as an administrator. But Tina Chambers didn't stop there. She took two more NBQs at level three, specialising in customer service and management. And she went on to do an NVQ4 in management as well, which is the equivalent of a foundation degree. I left school at the age of 17 after doing one year of A-levels. Going to a job and earning a wage made me more independent at a younger age. I applied at the Derbyshire, not really knowing where it was going to take me, and that job then led me to Babington Business College. I started in the investors and then it progressed into a team that included a bit of investors, a bit of mortgage, a bit of insurance, so I learned all bits about that as well. And at the age of 19, I was made team leader of a department of 22 people. I was earning a good salary, I'd got my own car, I've now got my own home and um, future plans to get married, so I'm probably a lot further forward than a lot of people who would have gone to university. Robinson helped me to get the qualifications of management NVQ 3 and 4 and that was through the support of the tutors at Babington Business College. Yeah, that's great. I would say if I hadn't had the Babington training that I wouldn't have been recognised for the skills that I was capable of. Nobody would have known what I was doing and, and how I could achieve more than what I was currently working on. The training was actually very easy to complete because it is on the job as well. You, you're doing that job so you can prove that you're doing it. We make sure that we have the social side of it as well because you spend a lot of time together so you want to be able to enjoy yourselves at times. To be a successful manager at a young age I think you've got to be confident, you've got to believe in yourself, you've got to believe that you can do what you want to do and if you ask my mum it would be being bossy as well. <laughs>